What's going on, everyone? Larry from the Shizzle Network here, and I'm back with yet another Smike style top 10 list. Today, I am going to t cover the top 10 scariest logos, in my opinion. Now, I want to lay a little fun fact here. I rarely get scared by a logo, and as I've only been scared by 10 logos, this list reveals just what those logos were. These are legit 10 logos that legitimately scared the crap out of me. And so, let's jump right into it. So up at number 10, we have Renaissance Pictures from 1993 on to the present. This logo appears at the end of Xena Warrior Princess, among other television series that I cannot recall at the moment. Basically, the logo shows a man's face who, knows, who theorizes is Christopher Columbus, but we really don't know for sure. But that's what a lot of people speculate. Anyway, he rips up, and then lightning shocks out of nowhere, and then the words Renaissance Pictures comes in. So it's, it's, you can obviously see why their logo is extremely scary. It's simply because that the face just comes out of nowhere and then it rips out, not as well as the lightning, and it's on a black background. Which, by the way, spoilers, is going to be a majority of this list. So yeah, Renaissance is the 10th scariest logo, in my opinion. Let's move on. So up at number 9, we have Mebu Productions from India from 1943 to 1962. This logo right here was made from India, as I just said before, and this logo is known for being disturbing. Why? Because supposedly, the studio was in its connection with communism as the logo itself, the M, is inside of the communist logo, which is a bit weird concerning the fact that India was and still is not a communist country, so it's weird. Basically, the logo shows thunders of about many thunders and fogs at the beginning of a red background, and then it slowly reveals a yellow tombstone contains an M inside the communist and Soviet emblem, which reads Mebub and the smaller productions. And then the tombstone slowly zooms in here. The studio was owned by Mebub Khan, who, which he established the studio in 1942, and his and many of his movies were actual were actually suckish. And shall I say rubbish? <laughs> Anyways, the only film that he made that was critically acclaimed by general consensus was Mother India from 1957. And when Khan died in 1964, the company seized all of its business, almost all of his business, and he left behind financial debts on his family. And today, as of today, the studio is dormant. And as you can see, yeah, this logo is a bit creepy, and it's actually one of the few that actually scare me. There's also a religious phrase that the man says in the background in Hindi, which reads, The plaintiff might wish you a million ills, but what of it? That alone happens that God allows. Alrighty, so up at number 8, we have the Yes From Hell number 2, a.k.a. Scimitar Entertainment. This logo is known for overstaying its welcome, and while the S from Hell screen gems is not one mainly known, this is the second one, but it's not as popular, unless at least until today. Basically, what it shows is that it go is we see these bars that goes and then a giant S forms onto the screen, and then Scimitar Entertainment Inc. just goes by, and that's it. And what we're left to is an extremely long fanfare that goes on for way too freaking long <laughs> yeah I have no idea what they were thinking and obviously this logo was a bit creepy here it doesn't help the fact that the logo is not only on a black background but the music is so freaking loud so yeah that's Scimitar Entertainment for you alrighty so up at number 7 we have Atrometrical wow David Lynch you just love scaring people and giving them some kind of health problems don't you Alright, so it's no secret that David Lynch is obsessed with electricity and all that stuff. But this logo right here is just bizarre. And sorry if I didn't warn you so early, but this logo is... Pr anybody who is prone to epilepsy will most likely suffer a seizure when they see this logo because of its flashing lights. And then we see a weird mouth figure that says, Asymmetrical. And then the logo ends in 5 seconds. So yeah, this logo is really, really creepy and disturbing, <laughs> to say the least. And it doesn't help the fact that it also gives people epilepsy. Kind of like that Pokemon episode in which we call the Pokemon seizure, or disease as what they would call it. Alrighty, so up at number 6, we have the Neon Mickey logo. 
All right, this logo is, in my opinion, the worst Walt Disney logo of them all. Basically, what it features is a neon Mickey figure, which, by the way, is actually a real-life Mickey figure at Disney World. It's actually just the um, neon shadow of it, I guess we could call it, as the Walt Disney logo is being written inside of the logo. And by the way, it's on a black background. Go figure, I guess. And then home video slowly zooms in, but luckily not too fast. And what we're listening to is a weird fanfare in the background. So yeah, this logo is obviously creepy because of the neon Mickey in the background. It's not as friendly looking as it looks. And not to mention the fact that the logo takes place on a black background. And in my opinion, it's the worst Walt Disney logo ever made. Alright, so up at number five. Oh man. This is the logo that actually scared me a long time, and this is the Dan Curtis logo. I made a talk to logo video on the Dan Curtis logo, and I couldn't find any other footage of it on YouTube. I lied on my talk to logo video to use the footage. Uh, it was just a piece of trivia I felt like lying down. Anyways, this logo is really nothing special or any much to talk about. All it features is a man's scary looking face in the background with just the text of Dan Curtis Productions in association with Metro Media Producers Corporation. So yeah, this logo is obviously scary. Really, really scary. As a matter of fact, this logo was so scary that it used to be called my scariest logo of all time. But it got knocked back by stiff competition because I now look back at this logo just thinking about how weird it looks. Let's just be thankful that this guy isn't killing anybody. God, I hope not. But <clears throat> let's just move on. All right, so up at number four is one of the most bizarre logos that I have ever seen in my nearly 17 years of life, BoJ Buck. Now, BoJ Buck is, I don't even know how to describe it. J just look at it. All right, let's just talk about it. What it features is a rabbit. A really disturbing rabbit just staring at you, almost as if it's staring into your soul, with a dead snake in its mouth. And it just, and then the text comes out of nowhere. By the way, the variant you're seeing is actually the scariest one of them all, because it's on a black background. And it starts out with the rabbit in your face, almost like a in your face style, I guess. There are other variants of this logo, but at least the rabbit is on a foreground or a background or whatever. It's still quite scary how it stares into your soul, but this particular variant is the scariest one of them all, and I absolutely hate it. And this rabbit, for for what, I'm just going to imply that this rabbit is a snake murderer. I'm just going to imply it and move on. Number three, we have one of the loud, probably the loudest logo ever made, 3G Home Video. 3G Home Video features is basically a logo where it starts out on a black background. This this seems to be a theme we're running into here, I guess. Anyways, it comes out of nowhere with these blue lines. I don't even know what it is. In fact, it's so bright that I can barely read the logo, let alone even see what's in front of my face. Or even listen to it because the logo is so loud that even if it was in lower volume, it would still blow your ears out. So in my opinion, this is the loudest logo in the logo community. And it doesn't help the fact that the logo is also targeted towards kids. That's right, 3G Home Video was a video service releasing video cassettes and stuff for kids. Yes, their target audience was kids. I want to know if there was somebody who worked at the studio at the time who possibly thought, yeah, I hate children, they deserve to get a scare. Honestly, whoever made this logo should get hanged. So up at number two is API Television Production from Australia. This logo, I don't even know how to describe it. This is the second logo to give me legitimate nightmares along with Dan Curtis. And we'll actually get to my scariest logo, number one. And I'm afraid that I'm going to have to face it. But luckily, I've been trying to conquer my fears through it. But let's not talk about that yet. API just features a spiral that comes from the left side of the screen just spitting out of nowhere. It can make you dizzy, especially if, once again, if you're prone to epilepsy. And then these letters, API, just come out of nowhere, jumping where it goes. Ding, ding, ding. And then television production just pops in at the bottom with some drum roll playing in the background. So, yeah, this logo is obviously really, really scary, let alone also very dizzy and... I don't know how to put it. API is just the second scariest logo, in my opinion, 
as this is the more recent logo that I got nightmares about as I was in Georgia. <laughs> Anyways, now we're ready to move on to number one. Are you guys ready? This, so, many of you probably already know where I'm going with this, and a lot of you who are big fans of my channel should already know what logo, in my opinion, is the scariest. Ladies and gentlemen, number one, I give you Ozfilm. Ozfilm is, in my opinion, the scariest logo ever made, and my god. <clears throat> Whoever made this logo should get slapped in the freaking face. I hate this logo. I can only look at this logo if it's on a small screen. But besides that, I, 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 I just can't look at it. Especially if it's so big. This logo is nothing special. What it features is silent film actress Vivian Reed on a black background. <sighs> <clears throat> and it she just looks slowly from left to center to right with an awkward smile and then it then it just fades to black slowly luckily this logo did not last very long as the films that it produced are over a hundred years old and it's been considered by the fan community to be the very first scary logo ever made and man do I agree no disrespect to Vivian Reed, but this logo makes me sick. As a matter of fact, every single time when I see it as a big giant, I'm always, and I mean always, my stomach is actually always hurting every single time I see it. Yes, I do think that it is that scary. And don't go on and say, oh, it's probably because you're eating or something like that. No, even after I eat and I watch the logo, my stomach still hurts. Yes, I am that scared of this logo. I hate this logo. Whoever made this logo should get slapped in the face. Definitely. Anyways, guys, that's my top 10 scary logo. Sorry if this video was not as long as you guys probably wanted, wanted it to be. But that's pretty much my top 10 list. If you guys did enjoy this top 10 list, be sure to subscribe for more videos from the Shizzle Network. And until then, peace out and deuces beyond the infinite. Oh, and one more thing. Be sure to tell me what you guys think of my list in the comments below. And be sure to leave your top 10 or top 5 list of scary logos in the comments below. And if you're wondering how come the Viacom V of Doom, the Closet Killer, and the original S from Hell was not on this list, is because I forgot to mention that earlier on in this video, I had to exclude those logos because those logos aren't really scary to me. And not to mention, they're one of the more obvious choices for this list. So I decided to make it a bit tougher.